What's up, guys? This is Kylie Mar for Complex Hustle, and we are here with Janae Aiko. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> there was a point in your career when you went into a meeting with a big label head, and he said, you have to sell yourself. But yeah. at that point, you decided, I'd rather just sail myself. So can yeah. you speak on that and how that kind of shaped the rest of your career? Yeah, so I was sort of like getting back into the swing of things, like recording music, and someone I knew was like, oh, let's have a meeting like with the label, like if you're ready. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like, and so yeah, I went into the meeting, and I didn't really like dress up or anything. I was like, I'll come play these couple songs I've been working on. And he was like, I, you know, I've been a fan of yours since you were 13, but I just feel like when you come to these meetings, you have to like sell yourself. And that kind of struck a chord with me because for me, I don't make music to impress people. You know, it's, it's strictly for self-expression in hopes that someone will connect to it and we'll just have this connection with each other. To me, that's what sailing your soul is. It's the complete opposite of selling your soul or selling out. It's really about connecting to your spirit and being true to who you are, being free and, and sharing that with others. A lot of young people are told that when they need to build their career, they need to have their elevator pitch. So then what would you tell them? I would say just be yourself, you know what I mean? Trying too hard is very evident, you know what I mean? And it comes off like you're trying too hard. Some people naturally are like that. They, Like you said, they have their talk, what they're gonna say and what they're gonna do, and they're gonna hop on the table and they're gonna be in your face, But and that's great if you're that type of person. But if you're not, then you don't have to pretend to be just to get someone to notice you. All that matters is your happiness, you know? It's not about trying to impress people. When was that one moment in your life when you were like, I want to go into music, I want to be a musician, this is what I want to do with my life? Well, when I was younger, I grew up around it because my sisters were singing and my dad played the guitar and he wrote songs and we had like a studio in our garage so for me it was more like a hobby and then when I got signed when I was 13 even then I was still like this is fun but I don't know not until I had my daughter did I really say okay this is what I'm gonna do to like make money this is what I'm gonna do to support us I had to decide because I was working at a vegan cafe and I was working on my mixtape selling souls and then one day I was just like I, I can't do both how would you describe the music that you're currently working on for yourself? Well, I write music and write poetry while I'm just living my life, you know? And I really like to live my life and not be like too busy with work. So I always make sure that I have like lots of time in between to really just live, you know, smell the roses or smell whatever's happening, you know? I like to really experience like real life. And my music is always a reflection of like how I'm feeling during those moments. 2088 was a really good album, and we know that Big Sean has already said that you guys are working on the second album. Can you talk about collaborating with him and what we can expect from that upcoming album? Yeah, me and Sean first collaborated on one of his mixtapes. Then just from there, we just kept working together. It's super easy. We have so much fun, like, recording and just being together. He actually thought of, like, he called me, like, let's, let's be in a group, and I'm like, okay. Like, you know, I didn't know how serious he was until we actually started recording and putting everything together. We're always like, oh, this could be for 2088 or you know stuff like that so there's lots of music that I've been making yeah I'll definitely let everyone know when it's time hey what's up it's Janae Aiko shout out to Complex Hustle powered by Ciroc let's get it <laughs>